The Living Desert Zoo and Gardens is helping the endangered desert tortoise by housing dozens of hatchlings. News Channel 3's Bianca Ventura has a closer look at the zoo's Head Start program. They're not only a native California species, they're also our state reptile. Saving the endangered desert tortoise. That's the mission of the Living Desert Zoo and Gardens with the help of the San Diego Zoo and the Edwards Air Force Base. Together, we're rearing these tortoises from babies, from eggs that are the size of ping pong balls, up until about the size of what they would be rearing in the wild in over two years, but only in the space of about six months. Unlike conditions in the wild, these small hatchlings are put in a controlled environment for months at a time, or they skip out on their hibernation period. We keep them awake overnight, over winter. We keep them watered, we give them lots of food, and we keep them warm. So in that time period, they grow very quickly. This helps tortoises become resistant to some of the challenges they face as babies. You know, they get eaten by predators. They could dry out, they flip over, they can't flip back, all the things. Uh, don't get food. One of their largest predators is abundant here in the Coachella Valley. The goal of the Head Start program is to speed up the juvenile process to help the tortoises get healthy and large like Beastie right here who's six years old and that way they can fight off predators like ravens. You can help the endangered desert tortoise by doing the following to prevent the rapid growth of ravens. First is of course closing the trash, reduce the subsidies, reduce the food, they don't need the food. Uh, tell restaurants to cover their trash. When the tortoises reach six months, they're transferred to the Edwards Air Force Base to better acclimate to desert conditions that they'll face in the wild. So they get used to the heat, they get used to the dryness, right? Where This is kind of the spa treatment. <laughs> so there they're put out into the wild a little bit in a protected area, right? So predators can't get to them. For about another six months, they grow quite a bit larger. By the age of three, they're taking on the wild for decades to come. In Palm Desert, Bianca Ventura, News Channel 3.